assalamu alaikum welcome all um, to the lab reaction engineering lab okay so i thought i will just record a uh, video this concept i am going to discuss will be used in all the reaction experiments okay uh, we have tubular reactor we have cstr we have cstr in series we can have batch reactor uh, reactors will be different but the reaction will be the same reaction we are going to study is saponification reaction which is this sodium hydroxide react with ethyl acetate to give you sodium acetate and ethanol okay so you mix them or you react them in CSTR in plug flow reactor or in batch reactor since the reaction is the same now your first job or your uh, is to get the conversion how much is the conversion okay so NaOH react with ethyl acetate to give you sodium acetate and ethanol we use the the conventional way is to do some titration you want to know uh, how much unreacted NaOH is and so on that is a bit tedious and old fashioned. So, what we do, we measure conductivity. Okay, to know the conversion. Now, I want you to understand the concept of conductivity. Okay, we have four uh, elements, uh, we have four uh, chemicals, you can say sodium hydroxide, ethyl acetate, sodium acetate, ethanol. Ethyl acetate is all organic solvent, ethanol is also. The alcohol is also organic if it not break into ions it will not give you any conductivity okay so sodium hydroxide gives you na plus oh minus sodium acetate also it breaks into ions acetate ion and na plus it also gives you conductivity okay so conductivity is basically a measurement of ability of aqueous solution to transfer electric current so basically ions so if you have ions you will have conductivity of salt solution for example nacl with water if you have water and nacl or naoh you put pellets of naoh okay naoh uh, and you measure the connectivity with the probe connectivity probe it will read something it will measure you the connectivity and you keep adding NOH connectivity will rise right because concentration is rise ions is increasing so that will increase the connectivity interestingly connectivity is found to be linear proportional with concentration okay so as we increase the connectivity uh, increases and increases linearly so if you double the concentration connectivity will double okay so this is one thing connectivity of solution is also affected by uh, temperature so you can see concentration of ion present if concentration increases connectivity increases and their mobility okay if somehow you can agitate or you can increase the ions movement it will also add to the conductivity so now basically if you heat it if you make the temperature higher it's somehow kinetic energy of the molecules will increase and also it will uh, the movement of the ions will be more and it will increase the connectivity because so connectivity of solution proportional to concentration and proportional to temperature so based on these two facts we have a correlation that was developed by like doing different measurement and then you come up with a correlation uh, finding connectivity with temperature and concentration so if you see your manual lab manual you will find this one so NaOH Linear with concentration, this is CNOH, okay, 
and then linear with temperature okay these numbers is coming by regression what you do you can measure connectivity of different concentration and different temperature and then you can do regression and you can come with a uh, come up with this type of correlation okay so you can see connectivity is linear with NOH if we double connectivity will be double this number based on correlation so this uh, correlation we will be using to find lambda NOH okay uh, similarly we have sodium acetate sodium acetate also has conductivity this is organic salt so it will break into iron but it will break partially so connectivity of sodium acetate is much lower than that of sodium hydroxide you can see by the number itself this number suggests that as compared to this the connectivity of sodium acetate is, is less so for example a 0 0.1 molar NaOH at 25 degrees centigrade is around 21 now the unit of connectivity is milli siemens per centimeter okay and then 0 0.1 molar sodium acetate at same temperature is around 7.8 milli siemens per centimeter so yeah okay this is a big difference 21 and 78 okay so both has conductivity sodium acetate and sodium hydroxide okay ethanol and its acetate doesn't have conductivity so we'll continue now so what we do if you have a beaker you have you have your reactor you have NaOH You can measure the conductivity that will be initial conductivity NaOH lambda 0 when we mix it in the beginning with when we mix it with ethyl acetate okay so ethyl acetate when it is mixing with sodium hydroxide what will happen reaction will happen so reaction happens then conversion at the steady state we will get some conversion xa xa at steady state okay now we want to know how to get conversion this conversion so if in the manual you will see this equation we will come to this uh, again and i will show you how to get exactly this how to derive this equation but for timing let's see this one so we have ca over ca naught lambda minus lambda infinity lambda zero minus lambda infinity okay so lambda zero as i said initial conductivity initial conductivity means when there is no reaction there is no conversion both stream both feed mixing in the reactor if you know the concentration so A plus B, A is NOH, A plus B giving you C plus D. So A is NaOH. Okay. So at entrance, after the mixing, both of the mixes, then concentration CA naught. So you have NOH, you have ethyl acetate. Ethyl acetate doesn't have any conductivity. So lambda 0 will be nothing but lambda 0 will be nothing but connectivity of NaOH at initial concentration at Ca0 okay this is lambda 0 so you know the concentration of NaOH at the entrance after mixing if you know the concentration you can put the concentration here concentration temperature should be known that's it. It will give you the connectivity in Siemens, not millisiemens, Siemens. 
lambda zero. Now, lambda infinity, lambda infinity. What does it mean? Lambda infinity is conductivity. Conductivity at hundred percent conversion. Okay, hundred percent conversion. So depending on the scenario concentration you started. So suppose A plus B giving you C plus D. C is sodium acetate. Okay, D is ethanol, which doesn't have any conductivity. So A plus B. So suppose after the mixing, C A zero. This C A zero. This is C B zero, and most likely we will be doing same equal concentration. Okay, so we can say also C A zero. Same number. So this is initially when conversion is zero. When conversion is hundred percent, what will happen? This will be consumed hundred percent. This will go to zero. And one is to one, so this will make C A naught. This is C A naught. So at hundred percent conversion, you don't have any NOH. In this scenario, you don't have ethyl acetate. You have sodium acetate, this one, and ethanol. Ethanol also doesn't have any conductivity. So you you will be left with sodium acetate only. So in this case. Lambda infinity is lambda of C A naught mole sodium acetate. Concentration is known. Okay, concentration is known. You see this this is for lambda sodium acetate. Okay, if concentration is known, this is concentration in mole per liter. Temperature must be known. You can get lambda of sodium acetate, which is lambda infinity in this scenario. So, for lambda infinity, what you need to do, you need to find what the concentrations you will have at hundred percent conversion. When conversion is hundred percent, based on initial values, you try to get the concentrations, all the concentrations, and see what do you have. Okay, in that case, calculate the connectivity of whatever left over. So in this case, we have equal mole. When equal mole, then you will have only sodium acetate. You go to the uh, correlation of sodium acetate. Find the lambda infinity. Okay, now in this equation, what you need you need to find C A. C A naught initial concentration at the inlet of the reactor is known. Lambda infinity is known. Lambda zero is known. Lambda is literally measured in lab. Measured in lab. For tubular reactor, you will measure at the exit of the if it is tubular reactor tube. Okay, whatever the shape, you will measure it at the exit. Okay. And for CSTR, perfectly mixed, so you will measure in the reactor. So that is lambda, lambda measured in the lab. So, so this way you can find the concentration CA after the after the reaction. Lambda zero initial connectivity, lambda infinity, lambda measured in lab. So you can get CA. And then you can get conversion. Okay. Once you know the conversion, then you can use the design equation of tubular reactor or CSTR to find the rate constant uh, and so on. Okay. So this was the first part. Uh, I hope uh, this will help. Okay. Thank you.